Yo, what's up guys? Today we have this, the Noctua Enix U14S TR4 SP3. That's a long name for, well, a heatsink. And we also have the NFA15 fan from Noctua as well. We are going to be installing this in my, in my computer system, which has a AMD Ryzen Threadripper 3990X 64 core processor. And I heard this does better than some liquid coolers. So, I am going to install this. So, it's quite heavy. It's not lightweight for a cooler. Wow, it's got a lot of metal there. This thing's got a lot of metal in it. Alright, how are you going to unbox this? Guess that time to do it. Oh, right. There's a little. That is one big um, cold plate. That's what I like to call it. I don't know. That's what you call it for liquid coolers. I don't know if it applies to air coolers as well. I'm gonna pop the fan off. Well, I cut myself. That's great. All right, the fins are. That's not great. <laughs> the fins are actually quite sharp. And I'm figuring out how to remove it. So, stand by whilst I figure that out. Right, so I got the fan off of it just to show you guys what it looks like. There it is. So this is the top of the cooler because these screws are closer to each other whilst these ones are further out. That's just how the TR4 or SP3 sockets look. So, I guess it's time to install this. Oh, wait, after I unbox the NFA 15 fan. Noctua also has pretty good packaging. It shows all the features of this fan. Let me let it focus on that so you guys can see it too. There's page one, page two. Yeah, let's see what we get in here. I'm excited to find out, okay. Ooh, ho. Oh. We get, of course, the fan, no doubt, which has a pretty short cable, if I'm honest, but it's okay. We're only going to be hooking up very close. The socket's right next to the motherboard. We also have what is a low noise, low noise adapter. That means like it reduces fan speed or something. And an extension cable. We won't be using any of those. Oh yeah, we also have a fan splitter. We won't be using that either. And we have some anti-vibration mounts, but we won't be using those. So all the accessories, I can put that aside. All right, what else do we get in the NHU 14 box? We have a little accessory package here. And it's about time we take a look at it. Okay, and here we get some Noctua NTH1 thermal paste, a low noise adapter. What if we put together two low noise adapters? What would happen? I bet it'll just reduce the fan speed to nothing if we keep on adding those. Feels like there's some kind of resistor in here, inside the shroud. But eh, we'll put that aside. We also have another bracket, oh. thermal paste. We're actually using Thermal Grizzly thermal paste, not uh, Noctua NTH1. Yeah, I actually have another tube of Noctua NTH1, weirdly enough. <laughs> but yeah, so here is the two brackets that we'll be using to mount the other fan. Let me get it prepared. We also get, um, Ooh, what are these? More anti-vibration fan mounts. I believe there's a oh, way. Oh, oh, one more thing. It's important. Not really. Not really <laughs> important, but it's nice. We get a actual metal, okay? Noctua sticker. 
It's made of real metal. Like, look at your, even the, I, be, I bet the badge on your car is made of plastic. This, on the other hand, is made of real metal. That is how much attention to detail they put in when making this. Even the, the badge on the side that they don't need to include, yet they still did, has a, is, is made of metal. But I shouldn't talk too much about this. It's going on my fridge anyway. It looks cool. All right, let's get to the installation. Well, guys, time to install this thing. All right, according to uh, Noctua's video, actually, on YouTube, uh, here's how they they did the thermal paste. I don't know if it's right or you guys agree or what. This is just how they did it, and I'm um, following that instructions. The first time I'm, I'm actually building an AMD Threadripper computer. All right, <laughs> that's what it's supposed to look like a lot. Oh God, hang on. Where did that go? Oh, okay, I see it. Never mind. Shoot. So I'll just need a Q-tip and need to swipe that off. It fell on one of the graphics cards. Or at least the space between it and the motherboard. The worst place for it to fall. Great. So just wipe off some of the excess. Just wipe it on the cardboard. So 13 drops of those thermally conductive goop. And now uh, I'm going to remove that thermal paste I spilled off camera. So I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, when installing this, all you want to do, okay, so make sure the larger, the wider screws that are apart are on the bottom, while, well, this is the bottom for me, so for the top, I'll just say for you, near the graphics card is what I should say. I did wipe off that thermally conductive goop, also called thermal paste. <laughs> um, shoot, here it is. There's a little tool they in include. This one's very thin, it looks like an Allen key. Which is what you use to tighten it down. So I guess just tighten it down until it stops turning. So, um, yeah, let's get to installing this thing. Uh, I would do it in a crisscross pattern where I'll tighten, for example, that one first, then that one, then that one, then that one. Okay? So, let's go. All right, guys, as you see in that time lapse, I installed this cooler. It's perfect fit. Uh, now it's time to install the fans, which is actually the easiest part of this. All you need to do is pull those clips over the hooks, which are right here. As you can see, it's kind of in a hook shape on both sides. All you need, that's all you need to do. And your, your project is complete for, for at least this. So let's do that. All right, the fans are installed. And now what the last thing left to do is to connect these fans to the corresponding header on the motherboard. So if you look over there, it's a CPU fan, even though it's upside down, you should still be able to read it. I'll connect one there. And if your motherboard has a CPU fan number two, connect that there as well. I mean, not connect the other fan there, but mine says pump fan. So I'll assume that also is based on CPU temperature.
connect that. fan cable there somewhere looks great now we are done now you can turn on your computer and watch those fans spin to life and keep your pc cool <laughs> yep so that's kind of it for this this segment and yeah i'll see you next time and i'm recycling this clip as well in two different videos so if it's the pc build video stay if it's the just the installation, it's done.